Assalamu alaikum and very good morning grade 7 today we will study how farmers do planting and get more and more crops this is the method a secure reproduction in plants by which cuttings or tubers or bulbs or runners are used to vegetatively produce more propagation of plants first type is tubers Potatoes are produced by tubers. Tuber is underground stem that has some buds. These buds have depressions or also called eyes. Runners is the second type of vegetative propagation or production in plants. Mostly commonly seen in strawberry. The stem is herbaceous and very soft. It grows along the ground and roots come out and other uh, parts become also so strawberry plant uh, third type is rooting branch this branch or shoot is a woody shoot and this woody shoot also uh, grows along the uh, ground and uh, brings out the roots and uh, mostly it is uh, in mint and or gulai daudi now we will study the four type that is called bulbs or combs bulbs or combs are onion garlic and crocus or uh, arvi kachalu or tulip these are the buds uh, these are the bulbs that have stored food and grow into new plants okay cuttings you must have known this that cutting of some plants like rose or other plants or uh, like apple they can grow individually to the other plants using plant cutting to reproduce plants from existing plant Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, students. Today we will do uh, asexual reproduction. Flowering plants are produced sexually through flowers, but they can also be planted or propagated by asexual method. This reproduction is called asexual reproduction. Okay, asexual reproduction is also called vegetative reproduction because it is not utilizing flowers. That's why it is called vegetative propagation. Okay. There is a comparison also written at this page, page number fifty-one. What is this comparison? They are saying that sexual reproduction allows the formation of new varieties of plants, but but asexual reproduction produces plants that are exactly like the parent plant which produced it. Okay, so sexual reproduction produces varieties. Asexual reproduction produces the same plants. Now we are having many types. We are studying many types of asexual reproduction. The number one is tubers. tubers potato your loved one you eat finger chips potato chips or snacks anything else they are coming from potato tuber what is tuber a tuber is a part of a plant okay a tuber is a part of a plant that is an underground stem that is an underground stem and it has food it is swollen because it has food and it has several eyes these eyes act like birds and they grow and send out shoots and roots to form new plants under suitable conditions okay so this these are the depressions which are called eyes and they can grow into new plant under suitable conditions see tuber is forming when a new plant is arising it again give out some tubers and these tubers we eat mostly like potato okay at page number uh, 52 we will study the second type that is runners okay runners runners the name is telling the shoot the branch the branch okay it's herbaceous first of all it is herbaceous it is very very cylindrical and very soft okay the plant for example the strawberry plant during the growing season it sends out stem that grows above the surface of soil and buds form at intervals uh, are formed and they grow into new plants you can see this is strawberry plant this is a parent plant a very soft shoot come out it runs along the soil and it gives out some roots and it is a new plant this is called strawberry runner okay this was the second type we have studied now we will study the rooting branch okay rooting branch is a branch which is woody it is the same type of branch we have studied in runner one of the stem will again go along the surface of the soil but this this branch type is woody branch and it comes it there comes out some roots and this branch is now exactly it going to a new plant independent plant this is mainly occurring in bam in bramble plants and in mints okay this was the third type now we will study at page number 
53 the fourth type that is called bulbs or combs you have eaten onion pyaaz onion okay onion is a bulb okay why it is a bulb because when and you have uh, cut onion you would have observed that it is made of closely packed layers because they are full of food the onion is really a swollen suppose this is this is onion but this is not onion this is still a bulb suppose this bulb it is actually a swollen but a daffodil tulip or hyacinth bulb is built in the same way at the center of the bulb is a bud and if the bulb is planted in the soil it roots will arise and shoot will arise it will it will uh, bloom also right if the bud is planted this bud will grow and produce new plants during the summer new bulbs will form at the side of the parent one okay com this was a bud but in com what is this a com is actually a swollen base of the stem it is mostly in saffron kachalu arvi we eat arvi normally arvi uh, some people were saying that you uh, you don't talk in urdu so i am using some urdu here also so crocus is also called kachalu or arvi so a, a com which is a crocus plant grows is the swollen base of a stem what is the difference between bulb and bulb and com bulb is a bud but com is the swollen base of a stem it it also when it is planted in soil it give rise to a new plant saffron is also a type of com here we are studying crocus com okay now the fifth and last type that is shown in this page number 53 is the cuttings some of the plants like many plant you would have uh, made many many plants by cuttings how is the cutting done when a branch or short stem is cut off and placed in soil root will grow from the cut stem and eventually form a new plant for example pelargoniums coleus and mint okay they have shown the examples as well so we have studied five types of vegetative reproduction tubers runners rooting branch in mint and bulbs and combs and cuttings okay now let's guess these are underground stem tubers okay these are runners strawberry plants these are rooting branches gulai daudi and mint these are combs these are bulbs these are cuttings okay now i'll do question number 11 gardeners sometimes cut large potato tubers in half because uh, they have to get more plants where should they cut the plant where should they cut the uh, potato so answer is gardeners sometimes cut potato tuber into half before they plant the two pieces they have to make sure that they are cutting there is a bud when they are cutting there is a bud or eye in each cutting in each piece okay gardeners sometimes cut a potato tube in half before they plant the two pieces but they have to make sure that there is a bud in each piece this is the answer take care of yourself and keep working thanks for watching this video allah hafiz